Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to House in the Cars, Home Ownership Changed My Life. My name is Stephanie Milburn. I'm the House in the Car Chair. I am joined by my co-host, Ms. Erica Rawls, and we have a very, very special guest. Well, several special guests today. So I'd like to introduce to you guys Ms. Darlene Meekins. She is from Philadelphia. And she has her clients with us today, and they are some recent homeowners, and we're very excited to have them on our show. So, Erica, I'm going to turn it over to you. Yeah, but first, I got to give you kudos for your quick wardrobe change, aka the camera. <laughs> How did you yeah. do that? That was amazing. I don't know. I just made it work. I made it happen. <laughs> that was too funny. We are really excited. As she said, I'm Erica Rawls. I'm actually in the Central PA area. I got feathers everywhere, y'all. I'm trying to get into the celebration mode. But um, yeah, we are excited to celebrate Courage and Fatu. Um, if you could do us a favor and sprinkle this across your timeline so we can actually get more on the celebration month. And Darlene, thank you so much for joining us from Philadelphia. We got Philadelphia. Oh, I'm happy to be here and so happy that my clients could participate and yeah. talk about how home ownership has changed their lives. I'm excited. Yes. I'm excited as well. Darlene is no stranger to home ownership changed my life. She has been on this show before with her awesome clients and we are so excited to have her back on today with Courage and Fatu. We want to welcome you and celebrate you guys on your uh, recent home purchase. So we know that you purchased last year, but we're still celebrating. We want Black home ownership, it is a big deal. And we want to celebrate you guys and tell the world how you guys uh, became homeowners and how homeownership has changed your life. So for two, I mean, Courage, yeah, tell us uh, about your so journey. So Courage, why don't you, uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about um, you know. First of all, we want to be grateful to God for the opportunity. Um, it wasn't easy, and but uh, it was short from the time we started looking for the house to the time we closed the house. The time frame was very, very short. We didn't really expect that, to be honest for you. We didn't expect that. It was very short, and it was very, very fast. I would say this. Um, uh, I must confess on this show, uh, on this uh, video, when Darling first came to us, because uh, I went online and then, uh, you know, when you put the information in, like you're looking for the house, it didn't take no long. I got a call. And when I got a call from her when she came, I was like, mm -mm, let me just give it a try and see. And you know, you know, sometimes we judge people by the color of the look. So I was like, I was like, I told her I want to see the white woman before me and, and you know, what can she do? I don't think she want to do the work. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to admit. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but when she came, she took us to some houses and she was very, but then I just had a surgery. I was not even walking good. I had a walker. I had a walker walk behind her and my wife was pregnant. And, you know, she was, because she was due in, she was due in, in March. So from, from, uh, it was it was less than a month. I would say a month and two weeks. Yeah, in all, I think so. But I showed that a longer time. It was very fast. So she came when we went to a few other places. She like, I don't think y'all would like this stuff, but I would still look for you. And she kept she kept sending her email with houses and stuff and things. But it was very fast. I must admit, it was very very fast. And even the day we were going to to, to close. To close the lease, I didn't believe it. Honestly, I didn't believe it. I'm like, I will just go with her and see what happened, but I don't too sure. But when we get the key and we came into the house, everything, we move everything, that how I got convinced. I'm like, no, we need to give her credit. She did extremely well. Yes. So uh I want to play that part up first. And I want to talk about how homeowner changed our life. My wife and I have been very grateful. We have been very, very grateful. It is true sometimes the devil come in order to do a lot of stuff. But um, we love the house, you know. It's a brand new house, very brand new. We're the first people that move into the house. And we got our beautiful daughter. 
that want to be jumping here and there, left and right, back and forth. So we are grateful for that. It's just like uh, it put out a lot of responsibility now. Like when we were in the apartment, you know, like anything happened, we call it we call the apartment office. They come and get it done. But this time around, no, no, it's our it's our responsibility. Yeah. So that's that's the only disadvantage you got. Wow. Well, you know yeah. what, Stephanie, I, I know you agree. I feel the excitement just jumping off the screen. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I, I mean, I'm so excited. I mean, just listening to the story, just listening to the excitement in your voice, courage. I mean, I'm just so excited and happy for you guys. That, and, you know, that's my wife that, that, growing that, that up is, in the home. Part two. Hello. Hi, Fatu. Hi, Fatu. Congratulations. How you doing? Good, good, good. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your story, Fatu? <laughs> oh, goodness. What can I say? All the, the, the long nights, I eat the pizza sorry for Darlene, but you were so wonderful. We really appreciate all that you've done for us. You were so very patient. I can remember at night when my husband and I are sleeping, he'd be calling Dali around 10 o'clock in the night. Like, you have to let her sleep. He's like, I have a question. And every time he called, you were there to pick up the phone. Your voice was so nice. You were so welcoming. And every question that we had, you just made the transition so much easier. And I really appreciate that. I'll be like, honey, you have to leave or let her sleep. He's like, I have to call her. I have this other question. I said, wait for tomorrow. He's like, no, I have to call her now. I'm like, she's sleeping. And whenever we call her, and whenever we called you, you were always there to pick up the phone. All the questions that we had, you were always there. You were a very strong supporter. I mean, being a house owner has been wonderful. We're in our own space, and you made it happen. We thought it wouldn't have happened, but you worked extremely hard. I'm very, very grateful for that. Oh, I'm so and I just want to thank you. Me. And being a, being a house owner now, I mean, I, I feel so proud. I have a big yard. I mean, I'm like, darling, this one is not working. And you, I mean, you stood by us every step of the way. So we are, I'm very, very grateful. We have the, we have the home. We have a very beautiful home. Anybody that enters this home, they are happy. And I'm like, oh, darling is the one that did it. And I mean, your name is like ringing. So pretty soon you might be getting some calls about yes. finding another home for people. Because I'm like, she was so wonderful. And we really appreciate it. And we are very proud to be homeowners. We have a property now. And I mean, we well placed. Our daughter has a place to grow, oh. and I'm just so grateful. It's been oh. awesome. It's been an awesome experience. You made it so much easier. Some people mm. go through a lot of stress, but you made it easier, and you there with your faith and everything, and always encouraging us, encouraging my husband because he had just come out of surgery. I mean, you are just wonderful, darling. I'm so grateful. It's been it's been oh. awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a home. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> and, 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 and just just another thing. Just just another thing. Uh Darling was acting like a, a somebody from the rear estate side, and she was also acting like a lawyer for us, like an attorney for us. Yeah, she played because yes, yeah, that yeah, she was, I mean, we must give her we must give her a flower. She was like, no, this is not necessary. I have to call them and ask why they're doing this. And she was find out everything. She would go back. She was between the 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 the, the bank. She was between the whoever doing the stuff for her. She was between the, the people that sat in the house. She was so wonderful. I mean, wonderful. look, I wish I wish I had the means to buy 10 more houses right now. She would have done everything for me. I'm being honest I, with and you. I have not paid them. I did not pay them. I didn't pay them. <laughs> I was going to say, you can take this and just repurpose it everywhere, darling. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's awesome. Awesome. I, I awesome. Did and, and I'm I'm not surprised that they're singing your praises, Darlene. We know that you are awesome. Um, but tell us awesome. a little bit about from you know from your perspective, Darlene. How how did the transaction go? How did you guide uh, the couple to the closing table? Um, so they, um, like he said, they actually were a lead um, for me, but it was meant for us to be together. Um, he they do function spiritually. And also, you know, I also am um, spiritual and believe, you know, in God at a higher being. So uh, one thing for sure, it's kind of like a ministry because when I take on my clients, they're like family. And I'm going to do all that I can do 
to make this transaction happen, to make it as easy as possible, and to keep people informed. Um, but along the way, during um, going through this transaction, for two, I mean, not for two, I'm sorry, Courage um, ran into some health issues. Like I hadn't heard from him in a while. I was a little concerned and then I found out that he ended up having some back issues. I think he since had surgery, um, but we were still able to work it through with his wife and him and still make the transaction happen. Now this house that we found was a new build and he was like, no, my wife needs the new place. We were looking at other places, some were remodeled, but it was a new house that he was set on um, we went through, you know, there's always some challenges that happen, like some of the grading in the yard or um, air conditioning, the, like, I, we just check everything. I even had to uh, have my husband come over so he could climb up in the attic and check and make sure that they had a filter and everything in the air conditioning because you have to be thorough, make sure that they've covered all of the things that we have discussed with the reply to inspection. But it worked out and it is a beautiful home and um, the wife was pregnant then, so I'm happy to see the baby. This is the first time that I've been able to see the baby. So I'm just elated for them and I'm proud of them. They're first time home buyers and we just need more because we're only at what, 45% now for black home ownership. So black home Absolutely. ownership really does matter and it builds generational wealth and it, it builds confidence and drive for our um, communities. So I'm happy to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. I agree. And we're, we're happy and we're excited. And for those of you who are just joining, Erica and I are wearing our party hats. This is a celebration. Darlene has her pom-poms. We are celebrating Black home ownership. We're celebrating courage and for two. We are so excited that you guys um, took the step to become homeowners and have a place for your family, for your daughter to grow. So we're celebrating you guys and we want to continue the celebration uh, for all homeowners. And, you know, we do this through our show, Home Ownership Changed My Life, because it, because it is a big deal and home ownership does change lives. It impacts lives across the country. And we want to make sure that it is a normalized celebration. So if you see us with our party hats on, we're not looking crazy. We are excited and we're celebrating. So we want to make sure that those who are just tuning in, you understand why the reason, just like Darlene stated, the African-American home ownership rate is at 45% and we want those numbers to shoot up. So Courage, I know that you said that if you could purchase 10 more homes, but just refer your friends and family to Darlene and we can make that happen. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. So I would like to ask the question, um, Darlene did a, a fabulous job. It sounds like she did an amazing job. So if you don't have an answer to this, I totally get it. But if there was one thing that you wish you knew now that you're settled into your home about the home buying process, what would it be? What would you like to tell someone that they should know? Say, say, that, say that one more time, please. Say your question again. <laughs> Of, like that you wish that they that you knew before you know that you know now like after what would that be what would that be if anything what would be the advice to someone advice now that you are you homeowners that you didn't know before that you wish maybe you did know well um like i was saying earlier even though we, we move in a new house and we are not done any like any type of white county but like um, those kind of tools that we need, uh, I didn't expect I was going to buy those kind of tools. Like, for example, um, at the apartment, even when the, when the, uh, when the sink get flooded, you call the apartment owner to come and take it or they come and get it, wow. get it done. Right. But we have to buy stuff for that. So, so, uh, as a homeowner, the first thing you could do is expect you expect that you are going to be res responsible for any maintenance in your house, not as compared to the apartment. And two, again, besides darling, I would tell them 
when you get your, when you want to buy a house, you have to start looking for the house. Like, if you want to buy a house in 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 like January, you should start looking for it by now because some some people they don't have this soon. They are not they are not switch in doing the stuff done easier. It would take you forever. But like for that, end, it was very quick. And it's kind of a scratch for to be honest with you. It's scratch for yeah. this process. The process is kind of a scratch for because. They want the order one done, and all of these things. Darling was the one that was like getting it done. To be honest with you, she was like getting it done. You know, the bank requesting for this one, and she would tell us, "Oh no, you need to get this one. You need to get this one." She came to all, even get the check, everything. Other other people that want us to drive and carry to them, but she came to us. So if you want to buy a house, you have to get somebody like Darling, or else they're going to scratch you off. Yeah. Uh, and that's a good that's a good point because we have stressed in other shows to make sure that you are working with a knowledgeable realtor. Um, that is one of the key things to do when you are looking to purchase a home. Make sure that you hire a knowledgeable realtor. Some people think that they can do it on their own. This is not the market to do that. Right. And I love the advice about the tools. <laughs> <laughs> you do not think about every every night there every night there I'm running to every night there I'm running to Home Depot to uh auto zoom to buy the tools and stuff and things. Like I have to get it, I have to get it. The pipe to water my the water the grass, you know, it's a new grass that just grow. We have to go buy all of those materials and stuff and things. When I was in the apartment, I didn't have time to do it. Even the cut grass wouldn't do it. But now I have the cut grass. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, that maintenance stuff. <laughs> but now because you own it, you have ownership pride in how you want your place to be. Um, of course. And you're in a community. So and, I, I'm just and, so and excited. No restriction. And, and, and I tell you again, uh, another thing, we just got the house in November. But if you see the amount of people now that want to, that want to borrow a loan, want to give up money, there are many. They're coming from all over this city. This thing, all type of stuff. Oh, you can have this amount of money and use it in your house. You can do this one. You qualify for this one. I mean, it got a lot of stuff going on. Now. Yeah, just in yeah. the short term. Can you imagine just for November? For November, we're in June, right? We are getting a lot of mail every now and then. Oh, you qualify for this one. You've been a homeowner. And, you know, so these are all good things for homeowners. Opens up the door to a lot of things. Everybody wants to give you credit now, right? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. It's benefits in home ownership. Yeah, it sure is. Um, yeah. Well, you've been blessed, Courage and Fatu. I mean, you're in a, in a market. When did you actually purchase your home? Did, was it this year that you purchased? November. 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 Okay. November, November 16th. We moved yeah. here 28th. It was November 16th we closed. Man, that's Last year, November. Yeah, yeah. So we were still in the seller's market. And for you to say that you had a quick turnaround, you saw, you know, and it take you any time. That's a blessing in itself. Um, it didn't take no, no time. It didn't take no time. Yeah. It didn't take no time. Man. It was it was like yesterday. Because let me tell you, it was fast. We we was we was in the process of renewing our lease to our apartment. And we were in the process of getting the house. If we renew our lease to terminate it, it would have cost up a lot of money. Right. So we, we played the game with them because we were not sure. Like I said, I was not convinced. Even the day we wanted to do the closing, I was not so convinced. Right. So we didn't we didn't sign the lease, and 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 we didn't leave the house. We didn't leave the apartment. So we were just there. But every time the apartment owner call, uh, say we want to renew the lease. I'd be like, I will come over because we've been there for like six, seven years. So they know all good. So I kept there and they hold on one minute, hold on one minute, hold on one minute. <laughs> so we signed our lease and all, and I went and told them, look, I'm not signing the lease. I'm sorry, we 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 closed on the house and all. And then I went and told the apartment that, oh, I cannot continue the lease. They were like, but your lease is due in your you need to resign the lease in November 17th. I said, yeah, but November 17th is tomorrow. I just signed my 
and we stand it, we stand, we close the house on the 16th of November. So I'm like, but tomorrow I go to San Malis. So tomorrow I have a cambia, which is 17. So I'm telling you now that I, I might have stayed in my lease. They were like, but you, you need to get out 30 days notice. I said, well, I've been with you for long. I've been with you over seven years, so you need to know me right now. And that's how we ended it. Because I was not too sure. And I, I didn't want to I didn't want to give notice to the apartment and we can't find the house. So that tells you the, the position I was in. I was not convinced. Especially when I saw a black woman, I'm like, no man, this game, this. <laughs> you but you you all know you all know how to think about you how to think about color here, how people think about color. So we all just into it. So I'd be like, I told I was gonna see the white woman come here, and you know, I'd be like, Oh yeah, something good because we're in the wet neighborhood. I don't think this is gonna happen. But uh, to be honest, darling did a fantastic job. Yeah, she did a screaming good job. He was yeah. funny. I kept saying, tell the complex, we are closing. And it happened so fast because they wanted us to close, I think within three or four weeks. So we were, I mean, I had to really get on my mortgage people to make it happen. And we were all set on the buyer side, even though the sellers required that we close by a certain date and ended up, they weren't ready they delayed things they didn't have everything together with the uno and all of that stuff so we were ready and waiting and um he didn't believe it i was like courage please tell <laughs> please tell your landlord you're leaving and this is going to be done we are going to close if it's anything that i can do i'm going to do to make this happen <laughs> And you sure did. And you did it. You did it. You did, you did it. Did you, did it. you did it. Yes, awesome indeed. Job. Yes. Congratulations again, guys. I, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations again. It Thank sounds you. like. Thank you so much. Yes. It sounds like, uh, you know, it was a, a, a bit stressful, but it was much, much worth it, uh, you know, to go through this process, especially with having someone like Darlene on your side to guide you through it. So Darlene, kudos to you for being such an awesome realtor and, um, you know, guiding courage and for two to the closing table. I mean, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'd like to ask the question. So what's your favorite room in your home? What's my what? Your favorite uh, room. Which room do you like in your home? Your kitchen? My favorite room? Yes. Yeah. It, it's my bedroom. The master bedroom. <laughs> and I love the kitchen. And I love, and my wife loves the kitchen because it's very spiritual. It got a lot of space. <laughs> she cook a lot? Oh, man. She cook a lot. Can you check on the table right now? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on one second. Don't show us. You want to see two? Don't show us unless you're two a big pack. You see this? You see this other big pack? It's full of food. You see this one, yeah? It's full of food. Yeah. She, I'm coming she over. Loves her and we have a we have a big whole kitchen. The kitchen is big, so we love it. Oh, that's great. That is that yeah. is awesome. That's so I'm so I'm happy that you guys are happy and that I was able to be a part of that. Yeah. And thank yeah, you, Erica funny. and Stephanie, for having us on House in the Car. <laughs> oh, you are so welcome. We thank you guys for joining our show. We thank you for telling the story. We thank you for sharing with our audience. So we love to hear the stories. Uh, they're always feel good stories. They're always inspiration to other viewers that, you know, so that's what it's about. That's what House in the Car wants to do. We want to make sure that we are impacting lives across the country and celebrating home ownership. So we thank you. Thank you. Thank you for you know, having the courage because sometimes it's kind of scary to go live on a show and, and, you know, and talk about your experience. So we thank you for coming and sharing that. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Stephanie. And a big thank to Darlene. Uh, awesome. I hope, I yeah. hope, I hope all the people that really want to get a house, that already need a house to find Darlene. Recommend five Darlene. stars. Yeah, we give five. a five star. So, uh, absolutely, yes. absolutely. I'm the, I'm yes. Come on, five stars. Come on, five <laughs> yeah. stars, Darlene. Well, Darlene, yeah. so I'm thank not again, Darlene. To thank, help thanks so much for everything. It's a All right. thank you Darlene. so much. Darlene, Darlene, yeah. why don't you let the people in the Philadelphia area know how to reach you? Oh, that's great. Um 
Well, you can call me at 215-495-4330. I'm with Realty Mark Associates. The name you have here, Darlene Meekins, that's 215-495-4330. Call me, I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much. Yeah, they need to do that. They need to do the ready, ready, ready fast. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the, look, it was like a miracle. It was God miracle. And we have begun family. It's not like other people when you call them, like, like my wife was saying, you call them to 10. They not, they, you call anytime she was answer the phone, she will respond to you. She'd be like, quick, off Tampa thing. She's a very, very fantastic woman. <laughs> Thank you. You heard it. They're happy. So this was a great one, Stephanie. Don't you think? Yes, this is. Yes, I love it. I love how Ownership Changed My Life. It's one of my favorite shows um, with House and Car. I love the excitement. I love, you know, celebrating home ownership. So Courage and Fatou, do you have any last words for anyone who is watching? Yes, I'll. I would like to say being, being a homeowner is a life-changing experience. And I think everyone should make that decision to get a home. And in the process of doing that, Dali is the best person to call. Like I said, I gave her five stars. Yes. She is awesome. She's there whenever you need her. She's like a, she's like a part of your family. So I would encourage, I would encourage more black, black, black families Everybody. to get a home. Anybody to get a home, I mean, the pride, the joy of even being in your neighborhood and I open my door and go outside, the respect I, I get from the, the neighboring communities. So it's an awesome thing. And the best person to help you do that is Darlene. So don't delay. Get your home. It's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Darlene. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Darlene, do you have any advice or any words for the audience? Um, yes. Yeah. So generally when I, um, get a lead or I talk to someone, um, that we're going to be in business together, I, I feel like more of a consultant, right? Because ultimately you have to make the decision. I'm just trying to provide you with as much information as I can for you to make a uh, educated and great decision for, for home ownership. Um, I have pre-purchase list. I give you a timeline so you know what to expect, when to expect it. Um, but you also have to do a part. And yes, it's stressful. It's like a roller coaster. Your emotions will be up and down, but know that you're going to get to the end of that tunnel. And at the end of that tunnel, you're going to see the light that brightens your new home. So jump in. The water's warm. It's going to take a little work. You're going to doggy pedal. You might have to do some breaststrokes to get through it, but we're going to get through it together. All right. Yep. Love it. Awesome. So cool. Awesome. Great, great words, Darlene. And thank you so much, everyone. Uh, Erica, do we have any audience questions? We do not. We just have Tony Johnson. Thank you so much for watching. Um, she said, congrats, Darlene. Oh, thank you. Yep. Thanks for watching, Tony. Hey, Tony. Um, we just want to say thank you to all of our viewers. Uh, we we love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Courage and Fatu. Thank you, Darlene. And to my awesome co-host, thank you so much for being such a great co-host, producer. Y'all don't know what Erica does behind the scenes, but she is awesome, guys. So thank you so much for being a part of House in the Car. And we will see you guys next Tuesday. We will be back with Millennial Talk Tuesday. And if you have any, any more stories for, of home ownership, if you are a realtor or a realtor watching this, we would like to highlight you and your clients. So if you have some compelling stories, some awesome stories, some stories that you just want to share about home ownership, please, please reach out to us so that we can highlight you and your, your new homeowners on Home Ownership Changed My Life. Again, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday.